Yes, we are here. We continue to develop integration, uh, some high quality e-commerce backend system <laughs> based on Google Sheets <laughs> and AppScript. Okay. Uh, anyway, it works. You see, you see that user ID. We want user ID. We got it. We wanted order. We got it. We wanted HTML stuff for receipt. We got it. Rombi, hello, my dear friend. Rombi, you are nice to see you. Uh, how are you here? Okay. Uh, now we need to um, first. We need to fix the date. But I think you know what. I think, oh, oops, <gasps> you saw my reminder, <laughs> don't you? No, 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 don't do this. Mm, okay, fix the date. Uh, now this is the date, yes, and we need to actually, um, now, 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 no. Um, string string now. I think we could achieve this with a template. Um, yeah, X X. Now where's okay here? Now done. Boom. Now this is a string. Yeah. Yeah. I hope glide. Um, anyway, let's test this. Luckily, we have this webhook already configured. Um, 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 string now. Okay. Oof! Fingers crossed. Go. Yes. Yes. I knew that. Template count. I love you. Thank you. Uh, now get rid of this. Boom. No, we don't need this. Delete row. This is the correct row. This is the right one. Um, okay, date created. Now this is a string. And we, we couldn't have any problem with this. Uh, now let's, you know, you know what? Let's send some other webhooks. Boom, boom. And, and let's actually switch the user and uh, form the card here, comma. Okay. Um, okay. There are uh, all right, comma, and something like this silo. Silo sounds like an anime character. Silo, okay. Uh, now Anna has uh, its own order. Let's send this. Boom. Another user ID, another order, yes, boom, and you know what, let's uh, hit another one from Sergey, okay, one, two, three, four, Sergey, one, two, Anna, nice. Now we have to retrieve orders in some way, mm, okay, this is uh, done. Let's get back to app script. Uh, oops, no, no. Mm -mm. You don't, you, no. Google. Uh, what was, was it a trick, huh? Okay. Uh, now we need to uh, create another endpoint for uh, retrieving the order's history. New project, um, retrieve, ret oh. retrieve, retrieve, what? retrieve uh -huh. orders, 
Rename. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Retrieve orders. I said rename. Thank you. Uh, this is gonna be do get function because we are on the free tier, free plan. Uh, we cannot use Glide API to uh, you know receive uh, the post request in there, uh, but we can use uh, the beautiful JSON column get json or or the whatever um so yes this function is going to be much more complex so i um i actually just copy this and paste this here uh, look i um, i wrote it myself uh, please believe me <laughs> but uh, now i am going to explain uh, you this what it actually does let's just copy our current spreadsheet id and replace this boom uh get sheets uh -huh. zero rows found okay so um, we want uh the glide we want glide to automatically uh, send a get request uh when user uh, anytime user logged in um, uh, the application and uh retrieve uh, his or her orders to display in the specific part of the application on the specific screen uh, so we're gonna need the uh, json json column fetch json fetch i forgot the word fetch i'm sorry um and boom, boom, boom. orders history history <sighs> Let's follow the name conversion. We choose, oh no, orders history. Okay. Mm, URL. The URL uh, will be, uh, let's hit done and leave it for a while. The URL will be the URL of this uh, web application. When we, once we deploy this, uh, it creates, Google creates a URL for us. And this is basically uh, the endpoint for this, uh, our small, little, cute, nice API. Um, but yeah, this is do get, and this also has this e parameter. So we, uh, from Glide, we need to pass the user ID uh, in order to receive the right portion of data. We have user IDs here, and we want uh, Sergey Yusenin to receive only his orders two, three, four, and seven. Um, and we want another user to receive uh, her orders only. Um, okay, that that is why we need user ID as a parameter. So we let we uh, need to parse this uh, and store as a variable user ID. Uh, then uh, we already know how to define uh, how to get the spreadsheet and how to get the um, actual sheet we need. Uh, and then the filtering happens. Um, let me explain. Rose found uh, is the name of the variable. Then we uh, uh, are in the current sheet and we use uh, the method create text finder and this method uh, must be provided with uh, some text string to find so because this is a text finder uh, we obviously gonna search with uh, some uh, string we're gonna uh, look for some things, uh, some string, text string. So we are going to uh, look for user ID actually. And then uh, we, we 
probably want to add this um, method much entire cell is true um, by default it is false and if it's if it was false uh, look this is a get request right this uh, is something going to see uh, here in the you know this uh, 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 this panel okay let it be panel I forgot every word I knew I swear okay uh, so because anyone can see this anyone potentially can um, perform this get request without the glide application without being registered and inside of your application so we need to match the entire cell uh, if it's false uh, someone could just type like letter a in as a user id parameter and our function will actually will return all the orders uh, of users which have a in their user id so uh, this um, person this hacker <laughs> uh, doesn't even have to know the exact user id to find some uh, some data to stall uh, to, to steal some data from your database so let's uh, think about some sa safety, uh, some okay, some defense of your system. Uh, much entire cell that that way, um, the hacker needs to know the exact user ID, which is kind of difficult. Hmm? Uh, well, and then find all because. Um, one user actually uh, obviously going to have multiple orders we have to add find all method all of these methods are well described in the upscript documentation so don't be lazy just read the docs please that's how I developed that I, I um, notice you remember that I am not a qualified JavaScript developer. So, um, but it works. I swear. Uh, we'll see. And then uh, we got a um, typical for loop uh, because we have uh, multiple orders per user. Uh, we need the for loop. Mm, we define the data variable as an empty array and then um, we iterate through rows found uh, through the results of this text finder uh, and what we're doing here we um, get row numbers numbers of the rows here uh, where the exact user id is stored uh, we get row, row numbers uh, with the, the simple method get row it returns uh, actually a number of the row and then uh, oh it's f it's it's supposed to be d mm, yeah you see we need to get um these values so because it's uh, it is in one cell it, it is one value so we need to collect all these values into an array and send back to glide boom uh got it uh so how do we uh, achieve this let result be sheet get range so uh, firstly, to get some values from the Google Sheet via Upscript, we need to actually get range first. We need to define uh, the exact range we need. So we know that uh, receipt lives in the column D. Yes, we need to write the D here. Plus, uh, this is, uh, so 
because this is a string, D is a string, this is not actually a plus. This is a concatenate some scientific JavaScript stuff. Don't don't worry about this. Um, D plus row number. So uh, because it's a loop, it's going to be D1, D2, D4, and so on. Uh, in our case, it's going to be D2, D3, D4, then D7. And and that's all. Um, and yeah, get value. So we define the exact range, and then we get value of this range. And then we use a push method, um, uh, the specific method for arrays in JavaScript and in AppScript. So we uh, take the data, remember it's empty array, and push it with the result every time the loop has its uh, spin, you know. Um, and we got um, the array of uh, receipts to display the order's history. And then uh, this function actually must return something because uh, Glide will wait uh, for an answer. Uh, so we need to write this return, content service, create text output, uh, stringify this data. So we, we now look here on the line 14, the data is uh, an array. A JavaScript object. We need to stringify this to uh, to turn this into a, an actual string, a piece of text. Uh, so this is uh, this is for what what is this method for? JSON stringify data, uh, and then set mime type content service mime type JSON. And actually, I just googled that and copied and paste and uh, whatever i don't uh, actually sure uh, but it works <laughs> so do that don't do uh, other way um okay let's hit save and let's deploy this yeah new deployment web app version one me yes anyone Yes, deploy. We need the, to authorize. Do we need to? Uh, no, no, really? Loading data? Okay, oh, yes, of course, we need to authorize this. Advanced, unsafe. Yes, this is unsafe, of course, this is unsafe. I'm not a developer. Allow. No, sorry. We're unable to open this file. Sorry, guy. No, no. It's okay. You're able. Why are you lying to me, Google? Um, copy. Done. Now, let's do the magic here. URL. Paste. And. Boom. User. Ah, ah actually. No, let's, let's cut this out. Um, we need a template column called, uh, I don't know, URL. Template, boom, user ID equals to user ID. Mm -hmm. And this is obviously a user ID, done. Um, so yeah, it works, it works. And now we hit the URL here, done. Boom, you see that? Okay, but what is this? I, uh, I don't want this. This slash is oh, I see because uh, this is a mm, like um, these things. I, I, I forgot the word again. 
oh my god i need to buy a dictionary or something um well let's now parse this order's history into an actual um html thing so we need another orders history Predefined, yeah, template, orders history. Let's, 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 let's remove square brackets. Let's remove this backslash. Let's see what happens. No, nothing. No, oh, but. Uh, Okay, now we need to remove this and this little guy because they are not supposed to be here. Mm, but we cannot just type uh, this quotes. Oh, <laughs> I remembered. This is a quote, quotes, quotation mark, quotation mark. Thank you, memory. Uh, we can just type quotation marks because we actually need them inside of this HTML markup, but we don't need this here, and we don't need this here. You see? Hmm. We are going to to what we are going to do? Well, actually, let's look at the reference. Oh, I don't have this in the reference. I, I probably I thought ah, it works okay let's record the video and just send it and okay uh, let's do something mm, well we have uh, different orders uh, divided by this 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 ugly face and this is what we actually are able to remove um, we need to to, to 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 split i think yeah split split uh, split orders history history pretty oh my god pretty pretty uh, what pretty fried uh nice uh split yeah split we need to split this by this actually done and we need to uh, you know what we don't need this we don't need this uh what we need just uh, no no not not use jquery it's forbidden deprecated it's pure evil um <laughs> oh oh yeah i know <laughs> actually we're going to um remove this and then this and then this yeah pure html Let's delete this and let's see. Uh, orders history, pretty fight. Pretty, pretty, uh, actually, uh, pretty fight. Okay, let's not let it be. Okay. Um, so, yeah, receipt. It must be orders history, pretty fight. And look, this works, but. Uh, we need some space. Uh, receipt margin margin bottom of sixteen pixels. Boom! Yeah, yeah. You see this? This is actual orders history. Let's switch the user. Let's switch the user. Boom! It works now. Okay, thank you guys uh, for being watching this. Uh, I hope it will help you.
So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. The complete uh, storing orders system, backend, beautiful, Google Sheet based, uh, JavaScript backend. <laughs> See you uh, next time, I think, or maybe not. Anyway, thank you uh, for being watching this. Uh, thank you for using Glide. I personally love Glide so much. Uh, and thank you for using AppScript and Google Sheets. They are cool too. Um, and yeah, uh, goodbye, guys. Goodbye. That's it for today.